Hi boys and girls, the story is called Back to Bed, Ed. It's written and illustrated by Sebastian Braun. Back to Bed, Ed. Every night, Ed loved getting ready for bed. He played with his dad, clip-clop. He had a drink, sip-sip, and cleaned his teeth, brush-brush. He had a bubbly bath, splish-splash, and a story with Mom. And then, all tucked in bed, kiss-kiss, night-night. Sleep tight. Ed loved going to bed. Click. But Ed hated staying in bed. Tiptoe, tiptoe. Dad, it's too dark in my room. Back to bed, Ed, grumbled Dad. But Ed didn't go back to bed, and Dad didn't get much sleep that night. The next morning, Dad said, Stay in your own bed, Ed. You're a big mouse now. But later that night, tiptoe, tiptoe. Mom, there are monsters in my bedroom. Back to bed, Ed, groaned Mom. But Ed didn't go back to bed. Mom and Dad didn't get much sleep that night. The next morning, they slept through the alarm. Dad was late for work. Ed was late for preschool. And so it went on, night after night. Ed left his bed. Mom, Dad, Mom, Mom, Dad, Dad, Mom, Dad. Back to bed, Ed, they shouted. Mom and Dad had had enough. The next morning, they came up with a plan. That night, when Ed went to Mom and Dad's bedroom, the door was shut. He couldn't go in. Closed. Poor Ed didn't know what to do. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Dad came out. Come on, Ed. Back to bed, he said. The night light is on. You've got your friend. There's no need to be scared. You're a big mouse now. But Ed didn't stay in bed. He got up and found his teddy, his frog, his duck, his squirrel. And now he had all his little friends around him. There's no need to be scared, he said. I'm here now. After that, Ed always slept in his own bed. And everyone got a good night's sleep. Well, not quite everyone. Back to bed, Ed. Always make sure you're following your parents' directions when it's bedtime.